Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at the set operations, including the definitions for intersection, union, complements, and the difference of two sets. Let's get started. So first we're going to talk about the intersection of two sets. The intersection of set, sets A and B is the set of elements contained in both set A and set B. So the thing we want to keep in mind here is and. It has to be in both. The notation for the intersection of two sets is we use this guy right here. And we read that as either A intersect B, or we can say this is just the set of the intersection of sets A and B. So obviously A intersect B is much shorter. And the way that I like to remember this symbol is it almost looks like an N without the little hooky deal at the beginning. So it's like A and B. What's in A and B? So for example, if set A contains the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, and B contains the elements 1, 4, and 9, then we would say that A intersect B. So what do they both have? Well, they both have a 1 and they both have a 9. So the intersection would contain the elements 1 and 9. And this is itself a set. So this is the set of the intersection of these two sets. We also might want to look at the Venn diagram representation of this. So if we have our universe and we have set A and set B, the intersection would be whatever's in here, whatever's in the overlap. So the overlap and the intersection are kind of the same thing. The overlap in the Venn diagram is the intersection of the sets if you have them in list form. Okay, so just some examples to make sure we really have the intersection down pat. As always, I encourage you, pause the video, try these first, and then compare your work with me. Okay, hopefully you pause the video, and now let's see. I like to name my sets, so I'm going to call this one A and this one B. And that way I can say that A intersect B is the elements, let's see, we have 10 in both, 12 is in both, 14 is in both, and that's it because B doesn't have any odd numbers and A doesn't have the number 16. So the intersection includes the elements 10, 12, and 14. In the second example, set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, and 4, and set B contains the elements 5, 6, 7, and 8. So what do A and B have in common? Well, in this case, they don't have anything in common. So how do we represent nothing in set theory? You have two options. You can use the empty set, which is just braces with nothing inside it, or you can use the null set. Either one indicates that there is nothing in the intersection of these two sets. You cannot combine the two though. You pick one or the other, whichever one you like better. In the third example, so I'm going to call this guy set A and this one set B. So in this case, this dot 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 indicates that this pattern is continuing. This clearly looks like the letters of the English alphabet. So we assume that everything is in there. And then we would say that A intersect B. Well, what would they have in common? Well, A only contains four of the English alphabet letters. Oops, and I'm writing the word out. A, T, O, and Z. But what we might notice is that, wait, that just is set A. So the other thing we can say is we can say, or this is the same thing as set A. So if we recall from the last section, we would say that A is a subset of B. So A is the intersection. Um, notice when I wrote set A, I did not put it in braces. That would be wrong to do. This is saying that A itself is an element, which it's not, it's a set. So we don't want to do this. You can either just write the elements that they have here, or you can say the intersection of sets A and B is set A itself. Okay, looking at the union of two sets. So the union of sets A and B is the set of all unique elements belonging to either set A or set B or both. So in this case, when we think of union, we think of the word or. We want to think of or. It has to be here or here, or it can be in both. Now I say unique because if it is in both, we only write it one time. Okay, the notation we use is A or B or A union B. And I like the, the, the symbol here because it looks like the letter U, which is the representation for union. So it works out nice. For example, if A is the set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, and B is the set containing 3, 4, 5, 6, then we would say that A union B is equal to, and usually what I do is I just start writing the first set, right? Because everything that's in set A is going to be in the union of A and B. Um, and then if they don't go in order, like if it said one, two, three, seven, I might want to fill in the gap so that way the, the list goes 
in order. It's not wrong if you don't put it in order. Um, it just might look a little weird. So one, two, three, four, five. Can I squeeze this in? Six. Whew. Got it. Just, just barely there. And then if we look at the Venn diagram representation, so let's see if I work this way, then I can put the rectangle and this is squarely in there. Okay, so here's the universe, here's set A, here's set B. In the Venn diagram, the union would be anything in A and anything in B. So it would just be anything inside either of these two circles. A few examples, hit pause now and try to find the union of these uh, sets. And just like with the intersection, I'm going to name these. So I'm going to call this one A and this one B. And then here we would say that A union B. A has nothing to offer. There's nothing in set A. So we would just say 5, 10, and 15, just the elements of B, which again, if you want to get all fancy, you can say that, well, the intersection, or the, excuse me, the union of A and B is just set B. In question five, if I call this one A and this one B, we would say A union B. So here I might want to be careful. No, I don't have to. Okay. So I would just start listing set A, 1, 6, 9, 12, 14. And we're only going to add new uh, elements to the union. So 1 is already there and 6 is already there. The only thing to add is 17. And as I mentioned, if 17 somehow ended up in the middle, I think we'll see it in, in question 6, you might want to just put them back in order. So here for question 6, we have A and B, A union B. So I'm going to start here with zero, and then the next element would be two, and I only list it once. Four would be next, then five, then six, eight, ten. So this would be the union of sets A and B in question number six. The next definition should be a review, and it's the complement of a set. So recall that the complement of a set, which we'll call A, is denoted by A complement which looks like an apostrophe, and it's a set of all elements in U that are not in set A. So if we look at the Venn diagram for this one, here's U and here's set A. A complement is everything that's outside of that set A. So it look like this. And this is if we have one set. If we just had two sets, so if we have A and B, it's still the same thing. A complement would be represented, so I'm going to just say here, a complement would be represented by everything not in set A, but it does include things in set B, right? Set B has nothing to do with set A. So it would look like this, except it wouldn't be in whatever's in their overlap. So we would leave anything that's in set A alone. Okay, just to review this, um, if the universe is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, what is A complement? So A complement, let's see, what's in A? 0 is in A, so and 1 is not. 2 is in A, 3 is not. 4 is in A, 5 is not, and 6 is in A. So A complement would be 1, 3, and 5. B complement would be, so what's in the universe that's not in set B? 0, 1, 2, and 6. And those would be our complements. The last definition that we're going to talk about in this video is the difference of two sets. So we say the difference of set A and set B is the set of all elements in A that are not in set B. Whoops. Um, the notation looks like a subtraction sign, which is coincidentally because this is called the difference. So it's actually not a coincidence. It's very much intended. Um, and what it means is it's elements that are in A that are not in B. And another way we can think about this is it's the intersection of A and B complement. So for example, if A is 1, 2, 3, and B is 2, 4, 6, then A, the difference of A and B would be, so what's in A that's not in B? I see one is in A and not in B. Two I see, so it's not in the difference. And I don't see three in set B. So the difference of A and B would be one and three. Notice this is not the same as if we had the difference of B and A. So in this case, order does matter, just like for regular subtraction order matters. When it comes to the difference of sets, order matters. If we wanted to look at B minus A, this would be asking for the elements that are in B that are not in A. Now we know two is in both of them and that's the only overlap they have. So the difference of B and A would be four and six. If we wanted to represent the difference of A and B in a Venn diagram, so this is what I'm representing here. Here's set A and here's set B inside my universe. What it would be is it would be everything in A that's not in that overlapping region. So it would be all of that. 
and some examples of finding the difference. So here we have our universe, we have A and we have B. Actually, we don't really care about the universe. It, it's kind of irrelevant here, but oh well, there it is. Okay, the difference of A and B, and again, you should pause the video and try this before I do it. Okay, the difference of A and B, so what's in A that's not in B? I see a zero in A that's not in B, and a two and a six. Right, they have the four in common, so the four is not in the difference. And then just to compare that to the difference of B and A, so in this case, we're looking for things that are in B, but not in A, and that would be three and five. Just to recap these operations that we talked about, the complement of set A is A complement, and that's the set of all elements in the universe that are not in A. The intersection of sets A and B is given by A intersect B, and it's the set of elements containing both, uh, sorry, the set of elements that are in both sets A and B. The union, A union B, that's the set of elements that are in either set A or set B or both. And the difference of set A and set B, that's the set of elements that are in A and not in set B. Thank you.